let's transform skeletal formulas into condensed formulas. First, find the longest chain. In this example, it contains six carbon atoms. Write out these six carbon atoms connected by carbon-carbon bonds. Then, identify and mark substituents on the skeletal formula. In this case, there are substituents on the third and fourth carbon atoms. Each substituent contains one carbon atom, so we attach them to their respective carbon atoms in the condensed formula. Next, we add hydrogen atoms. Remember that carbon always forms four bonds. The first carbon has only one bond so far, so we add three hydrogen atoms. The second carbon has two bonds, so we add two hydrogens. The third and the fourth carbons each have three bonds, so we add one hydrogen atom. The fifth and sixth carbons have two and one bond, so we add two and three hydrogens respectively. Since each substituent is a carbon with one bond, we add three hydrogen atoms to each. For the next compound, the longest chain is eight carbon atoms long. So we draw eight carbon-carbon bonds in a row. On the second carbon, there is a chlorine substituent. On the fourth carbon, there is a carbon substituent. On the fifth carbon, a bromine atom. And on the seventh carbon, there are two carbon substituents. The final step is to add hydrogens so that every carbon atom forms a total of four bonds. Always count the existing bonds before adding hydrogens. The last example is a bit more complex, but I encourage you to try it yourself first. The longest chain has nine carbon atoms, so draw these out with carbon-carbon bonds. On the first carbon, there are three fluorine atoms. Add them in the condensed formula. The first carbon has two carbon substituents. The fourth and fifth carbons each have a substituent made of three carbon atoms. The sixth carbon has a fluorine atom. And the seventh carbon has a carbon substituent. Finally, add the hydrogen atoms to ensure that every carbon has four bonds. Thanks for watching. And in the next lesson, we will cover the basic rules for naming alkanes. So stay tuned for more organic chemistry tutorials.